Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 9th through the 15th of January 2022. I hope you guys had a good New Year's and are having a good week. I do want to take just one quick second to remind everyone that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. If you do find that is your situation, I encourage you to check your other signs and placements. See if those readings might resonate a little bit better. And also keep in mind that in a general reading, the energies can reverse or flip-flop. That is not at all unusual. If you would like a personal reading, the information is in the box beneath this video. All right, guys, let's get started. Spirit, can I have the energy of Cancer? Cancer. Energy of Cancer. All right, Cancer, you're starting out with the Six of Swords in the reverse. We have the Six of Spears. And the Knight of Coins in the reverse. Very interesting, Cancer. Okay, so you have two cards of being stuck, and smack in the middle of them is the card of great success. <laughs> so, only Cancers, right? All right, so what I see here is that you're trying to move forward. Um, you want to, there's the desire to move forward away from something that is a bit chaotic. You want to move into something that's a little smoother, a little, you know, easier on you. Um, and you want to do so successfully. Um, but I do feel that you, to some degree, you are having some success, but you're still a little stuck there. Um, it's almost like two steps forward, one step back is the feeling that I'm getting. Um, so you're feeling some success in some areas, you're moving forward, and then, you know, boom, you're, you, you're kind of back, you know? Even if it's just emotionally, um, it just kind of like catches you. It's like a wave that kind of catches you when you weren't expecting it. So I am seeing some of that energy here. Um, with the Knight of Coins in the reverse, um, some of the stuck feeling might have to do with financial issues, um, because it is coins after all. Um, that would, that would make a little bit more sense. Um, that's more of a static feel than the emotional, um, issues that I'm seeing. But both of them, both issues, both the emotional issues and the financial issues, I do feel you will be successful with. It's just that you're not going in a straight line. It's going to be, you know, forward, forward, back, forward, back, back, forward, 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 in, in that manner. So, you know, keep your chin up. Don't, don't despair. Okay, let's see who you might be connecting with, Cancer. Who is Cancer connecting with? So we have the Ace of Cups in the reverse, Seven of Swords in the reverse, and coming out together we have Judgment reversed and the Page of Cups. Hmm. Okay, so the person you are connecting with, Cancer, um, I feel like they there was an ending here. Um, there is love here, and there was an ending. The ending was related to some kind of deception, and this deception was discovered with the Seven of Swords reversed. So that, um, that deception ended, well, the discovery of the deception, to be more specific, it ended, ended the connection. Um... Someone called judgment on this, and I, I do feel that there's remorse. Um, there's, there is love here, and I do feel that there is remorse. So, um, 
you know, for what it's worth. Some of you don't want to hear that, but there is. There is remorse. Um, let's see the energy of this connection. Ace of Spears reversed. Five of Swords. Oof. Yeah. Okay, so, like I said, some of you guys don't want to hear anything to do with this person. You're done. Ace of, Ace of Spears in the reverse. You have no... <laughs> some of you guys have, have no... Um, passion for this person at all um yeah and i the person that you're connected with they there is a realization that um the conflict that they engaged in with you um that they were the one that defeated themselves there that's why there's remorse um so there was conflict in this connection, and the person you're connected with here, um, they there was some, I don't know if it's narcissism or if it's just um, ego was involved, um, but this person, you know how you fight really, really hard, and then you turn around and you realize that you fought so hard, but you won only to be only to be like standing there by yourself that's kind of where this person is so they they know that there were casualties and this connection was the casualty of this conflict so yeah all right let's see what directly affects this connection Ace of Coins. Mm. Okay. Well, what's directly affecting it is there's a new beginning that wants to come in. <laughs> and I don't know how we're getting there because they have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. You have the Ace of Spears in the reverse. And yet, what's directly affecting this connection is the Ace of Coins, which is a stable new beginning. And it's in the upright. So... Um, okay. <laughs> All right, so let's see uh, what is the outcome at the end of the week. Five of coins in the reverse. Five of coins in the reverse is a comeback around card. It is somebody, um, you know, coming back around um, to, to ask forgiveness to to you know see if they can have another chance so cancer you will be hearing from this person all right bottom of the deck it's the hierophant now some of you might be dealing with a taurus that's a sign of taurus but the underlying energy here is one of it could be one of a couple things one it could be you know it could be all about um Commitment. Um, so commitment may have played a big part in this. Um, but it also, with the Hierophant, could be that one or both of you has sought um, advice through either counseling, perhaps um, a minister, perhaps somebody that you highly respect, um, perhaps a tarot reader or a psychic. But, you know, there, there may have been somebody seeking counsel with regard to this connection as well. All right, so let's clarify cancer. Why is the Six of Swords here in reverse? All right, we have the Two of Swords and we have the Tower in reverse. So, there's a decision that needs to be made here, Cancer. Um, so, you may be faced with a decision, and you may feel that you don't have enough information to make the decision. You're definitely guarded here, and I do feel you're avoiding making this decision because you don't want to go through another tower moment. You really don't. You're trying to avoid a tower moment, and I think that 
this is what keeps you stuck is being constantly um, giving, you know, having this decision, you know. Why is the six of spheres here? Oh, shoot. That was me. Sorry about that, guys. Let's try that again. Why is the six of spheres here? You have the two of coins and you have the moon. You want to be successful with this, so you're weighing up the pros and cons. Um, again, a lot of a lot of stuff you feel like you don't know that you're kind of in the dark about. Um, you know, there's a, a feeling of kind of not having enough knowledge, not really knowing what is going on with this person, and so I feel like you're trying to find a you know, a balance here. You're weighing up the pros and cons of, of dealing with this person. Um, why is the Knight of Coins in reverse? Okay, we have the Seven of Cups in reverse and the Magician. You're manifesting clarity. Yeah, because you do feel stuck. So you are manifesting clarity. Um, you're also manifesting um, more clear options. You don't really want to have a bunch of options out there. You you really want your options narrowed down. Um, I think a lot of you guys are tired of playing the field. You really don't don't want to be playing the field. You kind of are manifesting one option, one person. And um, I also think that you're getting very clear about what it is that you want. So. You're in a manifestation mode here as well. So, you know, this person coming back around is it basically is kind of putting you in a decision-making mode. You're going to be weighing up the pros and cons of this, and I, I just feel like you don't want to go through another tower moment. You don't want another big upset in your life, and you may feel that you just don't know enough about what's going on with this person or about the situation to make a really good decision. Let's look at their energy. Why is the Ace of Cups here in the reverse? King of Wands, King of Cups. Interesting. So, <laughs> yeah, two kings there. Um, So, <laughs> they know you have lots of options. They know, this, this person knows that when this connection ended, you were not at a loss for options. So, yeah, <laughs> they're, they're probably not happy about that. There is love here, um, and they see you as king energy, by the way. Um, they do keep an eye on you, and I do feel that there is a, there's love, there's sexual attraction, so it's not just about the sex, um, there is definitely love here. Um, they, they definitely have a lot, a lot of emotion, I mean, and they're keeping an eye on you. They feel like you have a lot, a lot of options out there too. Um, you could be dealing with another um, water sign such as yourself, um, which would be another Cancer or a Pisces or a Scorpio. Um, you also might be dealing with a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Or they could just have that in their chart. Yeah, they kept secrets. That's what came out. It caused a separation between the two of you. So there was something that was deceitful. They were keeping secrets. Um, the secrets came out. It caused a separation. And during the separation, this person did a lot of soul searching. I do think that they were working on themselves. They were trying to figure things out. Um, and like I said, I, I feel like, you know, they do feel remorseful.
There was a final judgment on something here, too. Let's see what that is. Yeah, there it is in the uh, Judgment in Reverse, Page of Cups again. Yeah. And the Four of Cups. So there was a final judgment on something. Um, so for some of you guys, um, it was a it was either a marriage or a relationship where there's a child involved. There was a final judgment on that. Um, because I see, I, I'm seeing a marriage, an ending in a relationship or a marriage. Pages are sometimes children. Um, and, and a final judgment has been made by this person with regard to this. So there's still a lot of love for this child, but the relationship with the baby mama or baby father is is ended. So a final judgment has has come down about that. That was probably part of the secrets and probably part of the soul searching that was taking place as well. Um, they may have had a choice between you and a fire sign as well. Um, so that could have possibly been part of it. Um, but a final judgment has come down. And they've ended that connection. They've ended that connection. Um, but maintained contact with this child. For somebody. Um, let's see the energy of the connection. Well, we have the Empress in the reverse. We have the Chariot. And we have Justice. So we have strong Libra energy. We also have Gemini um, and Taurus. So what I'm seeing is that the connection, the connection right now is not growing. It's not prospering. It's not growing. Um, if there is a divine partnership here, a divine connection, it's not moving forward because the divine feminine is not accepting the divine masculine. And that is because the divine feminine does not feel um, as if she or he um, is being um, treated as the divine feminine. They don't feel um, they don't feel respected. Um, now, barring that there that's the case that there is a twin flame connection, um, what I'm just seeing is that there is just no growth in this connection right now. Cancer, you you have lost your your passion for the connection, and you're not feeding this connection. And in fact, your desire here is to move forward. You want to move forward and be successful. You want, to ba you want things that are balanced and you want to just move forward quickly and successfully. You've lost the passion for the connection. For the person you're connected with, um, they are realizing their mistakes and they're realizing that they this conflict that they engaged in there was some, <laughs> there was some ego involved on their side, and they're not feeding this connection right now either, but they're trying to find balance. They are trying to find balance in the connection. Some of them are dealing with some legal issues. It would have to do with this child or the ending of this connection. Um, but I do feel as if they are trying to find balance here. So both of you are kind of, um, both of you are kind of trying to balance out your own lives right now. What's affecting it though? It's this Ace of Coins. Let's see why. And why? Well, so we have the five of pentacles. Now in the outcome, it's in the reverse. Here it's in the upright. 
and we have the star card in the reverse. So you left them out in the cold, Cancer. You you walked away. You walked away from this person. You left this person out in the cold, and they have kind of there's they're feeling hopeless about this. They're they're unbalanced about this connection. They're feeling a little hopeless. Um, you may be feeling like you were left out in the cold as well. So how you're going to go from feeling hopeless and left out in the cold into this Ace of Coins, I don't know. But Spirit is saying that there is a new beginning, a stable new beginning that is trying to come into play. Let's pull another card and see if there's... <clears throat> okay. Yeah, so there's a sense of you either not choosing them or them not choosing you, which left someone out in the cold. There's a sense of them feeling angry and hopeless, and yet we have that new beginning. So it could be that there's a new beginning for, for each of you that's um, individual, but I don't think so because we have this five of coins. So let's see. It's in the reverse. Let's see. More air sign energy, by the way. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Strong, um, strong Aquarius. Okay, so we have this Ace of Coins. It's a new beginning, a stable beginning that wants to come in. Um, however, it's clarified by the Five of Coins and the Two of Rods. So someone not being chosen and someone left out in the cold on your side on their side, there's anger and hopelessness, right? Um, the outcome at the end of the week. Now, that's what's affecting this connection, okay? The outcome at the end of the week, I do see a comeback around card. I see somebody trying to come back into the picture. Page of Swords, there's going to be communication, right? That's communication. It's also somebody you know, checking up on the other person, you know, looking at their social media, maybe, you know, if you live close to each other, driving past to see, you know, if they're home or, you know, whatever, but just kind of curious about what the other person might be doing. The problem is, is it's going to lead to more conflict, and it's not the good conflict. It's that five of swords type of conflict. So, this communication is going to lead, communication and or spying um, is going to lead to more of that ego type of conflict. Um, for you, you have the devil. It's going gonna, it's gonna to dump you right back into that same um, toxic type of thought pattern. So it's going to kind of pull you back a, a couple of steps. And that's where we see this moving two steps ahead and then a step back. For them, they have temperance in reverse. So for them, it's going to cause them to feel emotionally unbalanced. So this new, new beginning that wants to come in, it, it's not going to this week. Because the result of this... There will be communication. Somebody's going to approach or try to approach. There may be communication or, or somebody just, you know, popping up, looking at this social media or driving by. Like I said, it's going to lead to this ego um, and, and conflict. If there is talking, it's, it's going to be, there's going to be some conflict. You're going to either feel left out in the cold and not chosen or you're going to do that to them. They're going to feel 
they're going to be angry. They're going to be angry, unbalanced. They're going to feel hopeless. So this new beginning that wants to happen, wants to come in, will never happen this week. So it will languish. It will sit. Because I, if I'm not mistaken, you guys had this Ace of Coins trying to come in before. So here's the thing. Cancer. If you don't want this connection, okay, proceed as you are. If you do want this connection, then now is the time for you to look at this and say, okay, Victoria said it's the devil here and it's going to be conflict. And what can I do to mitigate that? What can I do to you know change the outcome so that this ace of coins this stable beginning can be realized so that these things can go into the reverse what can I do um, and that may be something you want to look at you have to remember that nothing is set in stone and you never give your power up to a tarot reader or a psychic or a um, you know therapist or anyone you get to call the shots cancer so I can tell you where the energy is most likely to go but you get to call the shots so defy the odds if you do want this to go through change it you know, it's completely up to you. All right, so bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Coins in reverse. Now that does indicate to me that at this current time, you are not really investing in this connection. Okay, underlying energy. So, all right, I'm gonna pull a few tea leaf cards and see what comes out. For you, we have a firecracker. Excitement. Well, all right then. That's good, right? I hope. And for the person you are connected with, we have hills. It says obstacles to overcome. Just because you have obstacles doesn't mean you can't overcome them. And for the connection itself, we have Mule. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Hmm, wonder who that could be. Okay, don't hate on me, guys. I'm just the reader. All right, I hope this has been helpful. Um, if you would, like and share the video. And um, if you haven't already subscribed, I do hope you will do so. It would make my day, and if you would like to drop a comment, you are more than welcome to do so. I do read every last one of them. So until I see you next week, namaste.